Hey yo, what's up everybody? This is David and today we're going to be checking out Steel Nomad. This is a new gold standard benchmark from 3D Mark. As far as I know, it's kind of supposed to replace Time Spy. So Time Spy has been a benchmark that everybody has been using for years and years on end, but it's getting a little long in the tooth. It's been out for a long time since graphics card were just you know way way old so now we have this new one steel nomad and it comes with two apis as well so we're going to be comparing dx12 and vulcan against each other and we're going to be seeing what kind of fps we're going to get on my 4090 gaming pc if you want to check out the full specifications of my pc that's going to be in the description below all right here we have the benchmark steel nomad and it does say that my settings may affect my score because I have a frame rate limit on and I have VSync on, but frame rate limit is at 120. So I've run this benchmark a couple of times already and I've never gone over or even that close to 120. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I just don't want to change all the settings. It shouldn't affect anything. Anyways, let's go ahead and run this. So first of all, Let's read the description here. 3D Mark Steel Nomad is a cross-platform, non-ray traced benchmark for high-end PCs. It uses the DirectX 12 API by default on Windows, but we do have a setting for Vulkan as well. And in Explorer mode, you can freely explore, explore the scene and change rendering settings. Now, your video card does have to have at least six gigabytes of video memory which is not that big of a deal most graphics cards these days even the cheapest ones you can get have at least eight gigabytes of video memory and if you have something like a, a rogue ally or a legion go or anything with integrated graphics like a laptop you need at least 16 gigabytes of total system ram all right, let's go ahead and check out this benchmark using DX12 first. But I found in my testing that Vulkan actually gives me a pretty significant jump in FPS in this benchmark, which is quite interesting because in video games, it's usually not that big of a jump. Sometimes DX12 gives me better FPS, sometimes Vulkan does. But usually it's like maybe like a couple FPS difference, uh, but you'll see in this benchmark, it is quite a, quite a good amount of difference. Also, I am recording this video and in my testing recording takes about four FPS off of the top of the, of the benchmark, but I will do a little run at the end to see what my computer does without recording. All right. So we have the FPS on the bottom there. Let's open my overlay real quick and we have all my metrics so it looks like it is using 100% of my GPU I do have it overclocked as much as I can and it's using about 430 watts which is not bad at all CPU doesn't look like it's getting hit whatsoever and uh, we're getting the, in the 80s 85 ish 90 not too bad looks like a pretty good benchmark if this were a game this would be a pretty good looking game i'm not gonna lie i like the depth of field effects all the transparency effects everything looks pretty good unfortunately with this benchmark it's not like time spy where they have a second scene and then they have that little cpu benchmark at the end with this one it's literally just just this so it's a little disappointing, but whatever. All right, so here we have it. Graphics test. The FPS that we're getting is 87.93 and the score is 87.92. So now we're going to run the same benchmark, but testing out Vulcan. And let's see if that helps us out at all. Okay, right into it. I'm seeing an FPS improvement looks looks pretty much on average higher than windows same scenes uh, 
I'm seeing like a 8 to 10 FPS difference, which is actually pretty significant. I almost feel like Vulkan should be the default API because I'm getting quite a bit better FPS with Vulkan here. It looks exactly the same, so I'm not seeing any graphical differences. The uh, overlay, by the way, is turned on, but it doesn't work with the Vulkan API in this benchmark for some reason, so that's why you're not seeing it on the top left. All right, let's see what kind of score we got. Wow, that is quite a big difference. So 98.61, the FPS here is 98.62. That is literally 10 FPS better than DirectX 12, which is crazy because you don't usually see that with DX12 games versus Vulkan. Usually it's a couple FPS difference. So that is pretty impressive. Now I'm going to run the same Steel Nomad benchmark with Vulkan without recording and we'll just see the difference. All right, so we can see here without recording, we definitely get an FPS boost around five to six FPS. So that is the graphics score that we get without recording. That's the absolute maximum. I've got my graphics card OC'd as much as I can get it without it crashing. So there we go. That is the gold standard of benchmarks for 3D Mark. We're gonna be seeing this benchmark in a lot of videos about benchmarking graphics cards and all that. I do kind of miss that CPU benchmark at the end of Time Spy which was kind of nice, kind of gave you a little breakdown of what your CPU can do, but we don't have that in this benchmark, unfortunately. But it is a much shorter benchmark, so that should help with the videos and benchmarking and all that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Go like, subscribe, and have a great day. Peace.